New South Wales DPI Fisheries administers the legislation that identifies and protects fish stocks, marine vegetation and threatened fish under the Fisheries Management Act 1994. The Fisheries Management Act applies to all waters in New South Wales. One of the objectives of the Fisheries Management Act is to conserve and ensure there is no net loss of key fish habitats. Key fish habitats include those that are crucial to the survival of native fish stocks. It also covers a broad range of freshwater and marine areas, including freshwater creeks and rivers, waterways which do not flow all the time, tidal waters up to the level of the highest tides, and wetlands, including salt and fresh water. Key fish habitats do not include a range of man-made structures, such as agricultural drains, off-stream dams, canal estates, or some minor waterways. Unauthorised works within key fish habitat can have significant negative impacts on fish and their habitats. If you're planning on undertaking work or an activity near a waterway, you may require a permit from DPI Fisheries. The need to obtain approvals generally applies regardless of the ownership of the waterway. Permits are issued for activities that trigger the Fisheries Management Act and include dredging and reclamation work, obstruction of fish passage, harm to marine vegetation, and works where threatened fish species may be found. DPI Fisheries permit inspections are carried out routinely and as required during or after works are completed. Permits need to be on site during works. Contravention of a permit condition can see fines up to $11,000 per condition. One of the most common contraventions is the failure to install and maintain sediment and erosion controls. Remediation orders are issued for unauthorised dredging and reclamation work and for harm to marine vegetation. Courts can also make the same orders and have works that obstruct fish passage removed. When suspected unauthorised works within a watercourse are reported to DPI Fisheries, a stop work order can be issued if the works are still in progress. DPI Fisheries officers have delegated authority to issue stop work orders for unauthorised works in waterways under the Fisheries Management Act. Stop work orders can be issued verbally and in writing and can be posted in a conspicuous place in the vicinity of the waters they apply to if no one is present. A stop work order can apply up to 40 days with the option of a further 40 days. Stop work orders take precedence over approvals under other acts excluding emergency legislation. Fines for non-compliance are up to $220,000 and $110,000 for each day the offence continues. To find out more about DPI Fisheries Compliance and the Fisheries Management Act, please visit our website.